Hello, and welcome back to A Coward Plays, The Quarry, Part 5. We immediately start with a um, just very artistic view. Um, as someone decides it's okay to explore an island in the dark, in the middle of the woods, all alone. It's fine. Totally fine. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Swab. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. That's good advice, actually. Okay. There is a door. Oh, they're the restrooms. Okay, so that's probably not going to be an important cutscene, right? No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au natural for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Sexy. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Oh, she's saying to the lake. Gross. Yeah, we are gonna ignore that. She, she, she makes a lot of good points here. Okay, I can't go into the bathrooms, right? Let me just double check real quick. I assume I cannot. And I am fine with that. Yeah, okay. Keep progressing. Ooh, okay. See, this island <gasps> is like an unexcavated part of the story that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now, as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all bluff about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How dare you okay. call this out? Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Is that a bear? <gasps> what? That was a bear that like morphed into a woman, I think. Also, game, how dare you meta like this? I know it's a fork in the road. <laughs> But I don't know what it means in terms of gameplay compared to her life. Shit. Um. I feel like I am going to be missing something, but the high road and forgetting about it sounds like a great idea. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this oh walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. <laughs> don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and... What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. False.
That... That looks a lot more dangerous, too. I don't know if that's a correct assumption, but that looks like... Yeah, that looks... That looks sketchy. I know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just trying to justify my choice. Can I look over at the path now? Ooh. Goes under. Yeah, it, I don't think I wanted that. That's fine. That that looks like a great way to die among the the craggy rockle, rocky coast. <laughs> rockle. What's rockle? Not that this looks a lot safer. She could definitely plummet to her death here. Oh god. This is where we're heading. It's not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby. But these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which... I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? She's definitely yeah, gonna be ziplining by the end of this episode. I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. Compassionate. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick, but it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Uh, oh, and context, about that. Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Mm -hmm. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's uh. cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. You are the worst. Okay. A fork again. I don't see anything over there. Oh man, is this just where the path was gonna lead? If it lets me go down there, I'll go down there. Oh. Oh, it's a zip line. Yeah, she's definitely going to be doing this uh, fairly quickly, I feel like. I think we call that foreshadowing. Oh look, car keys. Police car keys. I think this might be one of those, I'm sorry, officer, I have no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. Oh, boy. So the question is, do things start off when I enter the cabin or when I go down there? Interesting. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll go in. If I cut off the clues or action potential from down there, so be it. <laughs> And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps...
thought young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Damn it. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And oh look. I hear something growling. Somebody you forgot to clear the place out. It seems somebody you forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. I don't recognize. Don't this. like this. I don't like this. Oh you know god no. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. This fucking game. Oh my god. I cannot explain to you how I'm unable to open that trap door after what happened to Ashley. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. Thank you. This is all you're getting. Oh no, did I choose wrong? Are they hiding the bags or something? <gasps> yes! She got a weapon of some kind. Fun. Thank you, Ashley, for your sacrifice. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. Oh, it's gonna make me jump. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. Don't do this. Calling and there's no time for an encore. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Holy shit. <gasps> Taser, you have to get in a little closer. We're going to do bear spray. Also because the, um, the video they showed earlier was of someone using bear spray. And I want to think they put in a little bit of, um you know, uh, <laughs> helping clue there. I just don't want her to get too close. What if she gets bitten? <laughs> That's horrifying. Oh my God. I knew it. Oh, thank God. Holy shit. Spray? This is the Sam situation. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> A coward plays. Okay? I take my time with these decisions. Okay, so I'm really worried about that fucking open window. Um. Oh, Jesus. I think she should just go up the trap door. Yeah, objective is survive. I think I know that. Oh, man. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, I go like, ah! Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? Okay. No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh, no. He's hungry. I guess several of the kids could just live as werewolves oh, at man. the end of this. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. Oh, okay, another tarot card. Or tarot card. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. Oh, God. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Um. Shoot. Optimistic of I hope they're going to be okay or cautious. I don't want to start any fear mongering, but I can't see how being cautious hurts here. I'm sure it can. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's going to track them down? I think this was the fear-mongering option. I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is going to get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. Pretty weird to see this place so dead. Are you gonna close you the never fucking came down door? Here night while camp was in session. What? No, did you? A couple times. Yeah. They did not close the door. Wild. Oh, is the hag calling going? Dylan? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. There's someone targeting Dylan on the phone earlier too. Oh. When he picked it up. Or maybe he's more attuned or something. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. I don't think there's any point of being paranoid. Hopeful. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. I mean, Nick's not all right. He's call? definitely infected. Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. Dylan's anyway, not dealing yeah, well. But, like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Determined. Call the cops. Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now, and we really need backup. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. Dead.
Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right, when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, yeah. how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Oh, it's the radio tower where, all over where again. Where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Oh, I don't want Dylan to be aggressive. Even if I think he I should keep the gun. Well, I don't know. We're good Does he have and training? Safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful okay. with it. He gets to keep it temporarily. We'll okay. No, you guys were flirting earlier. Okay. Don't be like this. Oh, God. It's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe. Maybe it was the Do not bears. bury the gaze. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So, for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. Yeah, go into the secret bunker. Get everyone into the secret bunker, except maybe Nick. Fruit. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. I hope this isn't the opposite Emily situation where you have to kill Nick. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlyn. Yeah, I don't trust him with a gun. Oh. Dylan's going a bit crazy. These are terrible options. I guess defensive is better than aggressive. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Give gun. Ah, uh, all right. You're right. Hey, You're too you trigger happy anyway. Mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Ryan will protect you. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. <laughs> My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he does. Am I interrupting something? Oh, look at the love triangle at it again. My heart is pounding. Chin up, big guy. Yes, it, thank you. I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah. No problem, we love you, no Dylan. Man. Oh no, we're back to Emma. Fuck. I get something heavier than a toolbox for that trap door. Ooh, do I see another zip line? I do.
That's a good question. Real quickly. Oh, shit. Jump, girl! She made it. No longer a working taser, though. <laughs> She's super calm, considering what just happened. She's like, ugh, just another Tuesday. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Why are you stalking time us? Again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into a tapping into a previously unknown. It's about energy. Nick, isn't it? I suppose it? there are forces at work within us all. Or Dylan, maybe. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician. The incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Absolutely. Choose one. Choose I knew they were going to do that. This is rude. This is a very rude game. <sighs> I feel like the magician. I mean, strength, it's hard because he's clearly a guy manhandling a wolf. And it was the harder card to find, right? No, the magician was. We'll do the magician. I don't know if it's the right choice. I'm never sure. Oh, they do amputate! Fuck yeah! So it's I didn't need to see that totem again. to do it, though. I would have totally I'll amputated. You with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Oh? This game is wild. Okay, before... Nope, it won't let me click anything. Okay. White noise. Chapter 5, here we go. Oh, we're playing as Nick! We are Aussie boy. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling?
Ooh, compassionate or grateful? Compassionate. How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy you're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Uh, speak up. Let's see. Could be Emma. Could be Jacob. Oh, look at his eyes. His eyes are turning. They're not. They're not natural looking anymore. Okay, this is actually a good time. I want to I want to see what paths we've taken. Yeah, I'm sorry, I lost it. It was lost forever. Down the rabbit hole. Oh, I'm glad I checked this. I didn't know she left her backpack in the lodge kitchen. Ryan raced through the forest in time to see Nick being dragged away by a hunter. Ryan didn't shoot. Witnessed the hunter shoot his own his fingers off. Yeah, which is what's going to lead him to amputate later. Ha, yeah. I don't know if that's something to be excited about, but I am. I, I think it might help Nick survive. Jacob didn't distract the hunter. The hunter bored blood on Jacob's face. Ryan heard a rustling in the bushes, but didn't shoot. Okay. Those are all straightforward so far. Oh, maybe Emma was always destined to survive that, because there's nothing about a path for that. Okay, okay. Okay, so do we speak up? Shoot. Uh, speaking of hasn't done anything to them thus far. Hmm. We still got two people out there missing. I gotta. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. Oh, that's what they meant. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Right, stay here. I'll check it out. Ooh. Reassuring. We'll be fine. Just be careful. <sighs> oh boy. Stay here. At least she's got the gun and she's competent. We're not going to shoot at anything we don't see. I don't know if I put it on your shoulder already.
Yeah, there's not supposed to be anything upstairs, right? Because the, the stairs were blocked. Oh, it's just one of the hunters. Okay. Oh, but I don't know if we should let him know about Nick. Oh, I don't know if I wanted to hide either. This is hard. I don't like this. Maybe better to scope out the situation first, though. As long as I don't turn a gun on him, I'm just info collecting. No sign of him. When you find him, let him. And keep oh, I should have let her be seen. Nope. Yep. Ah. I'm not assisting with shit. Nope. I'm gonna be blooded. They could communicate. I'm not gonna shoot you. Bro! I guess he didn't want to her to shoot him, but still. Communicate! I'm not doing anything against him. just a sentence would have helped. Hey, so this may not be like the best Did I lose the gun because I didn't fight back? Damn it. What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and the start of camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Ooh. Confidence better than insecure, maybe, in this situation. Hey. Let's not add to the worries. Worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night. Intrigued. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Bruh, it's not the time. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. It's spreading. I just mean, of course, I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That. Seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen, though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. Well, unless you keep <laughs> pushing. You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Bruh. Nick. What is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. Maybe stop carrying a giant gun towards oh her. God. Just what a happened? thought. Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Okay, hear me out. 
I'm worried what they're going to do to Nick. But I would like Abby to be bloodied. What are my options again? Hide or run. How far is Nick going to get in that condition? For real. I'm going to do it. I'm going to hide. Watch it be the first time I hide and the one time you shouldn't. Quick. I'm worried about Nick. I'm going to follow this through, even if Abby could maybe get bloodied. I don't know if that's the correct choice. But I need him to survive for Ryan to cut off his leg. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their Oh, radio fuck. Get your gun ready! And, you know, nowadays, everything you need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology. It giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like, uh, DJing, or music, or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in, um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here, um... Okay. Oh, is it just not going to let me go any further? That's fine. This was getting too open world. I wasn't sure. Is there any reward for coming back this way? Any any clues? Any tarot cards? Nope. Okay. What's this? Is this anything? Tis not. Just an interesting feature. Okay. What is that? It's like a grave or a fire pit? Ah. Okay. <sighs> I'm just bated breath, just like, when is it gonna pop out? I'm, I'm, just... I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, 
I um You're a wise wise cracking smart ass. <laughs> uh that's Aww. a little harsh, but uh, No. Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean people kind of enjoyed the blase Dylan. And do, do you enjoy the blase, Dylan? <laughs> he's admitting he's embracing the trope just Not, as yeah, a like, mask. You know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Fuck, they're cute. Well, actually, I'm. let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yes. Yeah, I love I like Ryan. He's, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, this is too much open world for them to put nothing. I'm bitter. Oh. We're back here. Okay. Is there stuff I missed last time that I can quickly grab? Oh no. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh man. I told the kids to look after this. It's three times older than they are. Why the hell did I do that? Oh. Oh boy. This seems safe. Let's just go in here. Damn. Fine, fine. Okay, there doesn't look like there's anything. I just, I just need to get going to... I'm sure in one of these there's another clue or evidence or... something. Uh, can I make a move quicker? Yeah, let's just do a sweep. Just a quick sweep. Stay close, Ryan. Oh, yes! So that's why Nurse Kelly went home early. Why did Nurse Kelly go home early? Uh Okay. He told the nurse to take time off while the kids were still there. That is a little irresponsible sounding unless she was really sick. Wolf howling, thank you. I do hear you. Okay. That's it. We're we're going to go up to the main cabin now.
Which is good, because I've only got a few minutes left. <sighs> I hear you, buddy. <sighs> Lots of wolf howls. Ooh, interact with the Ryan first. All good. Ah, uh, uncertain. Uh, give me a minute. All right. More evidence. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's it. Okay, so I've only got a few minutes to go before this clip needs to end, so I might. This actually is a, is a good ending point. Um, thank you for, for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and next time, we'll start with terror. Bye!